Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the leak code question, maximize distance to the closest person. All right, so in this question, we're given an area representing a, of a row of seats, where seats i equals 1 represents that a person is sitting in the ith seat. And if seats i is equal to 0, that means that no one is sitting in the ith seat and it's empty. And our list is going to be 0 index, so starting off at 0. So there is at least one empty seat and at least one person sitting. Okay, so Alex wants to sit in the seat such that the distance between him and the closest person to him is maximized. So in other words, uh, fitting the current situation that we're on, he wants to be as far away as other people. He wants to social distance himself away. Okay, so return the maximum distance to the closest person. So over here we have a quick example, uh, and if you look at this, uh, Alex has one option over here, two, three, four. He has four different places where he could sit. But between those four places, let's say he chose this over here, there would be no there would be a distance of one between him and the other person. So instead, Alex chose to sit on seat number two. In that way, he has a distance of two between the people right next to him. Now, one thing that we really want to understand over here is Alex could sit on seat number three. In that case, he would be three places away from the person at the zero index. But he would only be one place away from the person in the fourth index. So it's really important that we consider both sides, okay? And that's exactly what we want to do in our solution. We want to consider him in both sides. And the best way to do that is to take the, uh, the middle of that. So what I mean by that is whenever we have two people where the seats are taken up, since we want to be equidistantly away from both of them, and we also want to have the maximum distance away from people in general. So in that case, Given two uh, seats that are taken, we want to sit in the middle of that. That is going to give us the best answer, and that's exactly what's happening over here. Between 0 and 4, we have the number 2, and that's where Alex sits, and in that way, he gets a distance of 2 between both of the people. And the value that we're outputting here is the maximum distance, and in this case, the maximum distance is the number 2. Okay, and that's what we have, and now let's just look at one more example and kind of talk through how we can come up with a solution. All right, so I just made up this example over here. So uh, this over here is a list, and the values or the numbers in white are going to represent the index or the val okay, or the bottom value. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have a total of 8 elements, and in other words, we have 8 seats. So over here, the goal is to find the best seat for Alex, where he has the most distance between people. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to be iterating through our... Uh, values over here and we're going to keep going through our seats until we come across a seat where which is taken so in this case the first seat that is taken is this seat right over here so what we're going to do is we're going to store this value somewhere so let's just store this value over here so let's just call it temp and the value that we're going to be storing here is the index at which we found the current seat so in this case we found the first taken seat at the index zero so we're going to store that. So in the temporary variable, we're storing zero. Okay, so this over here is going to be considered as our first iteration, right? And in this case, luckily, we found the first seat taken at the zeroth index. So now we're also going to have one more variable, and this variable has or stores the maximum distance possible. So, so far, where could Alex sit? And the answer is he has no possible options because we're currently at the zeroth index and there's no options for him to sit at. So in that case, the distance would actually end up being zero. But what you want to realize is, let's just uh, remove this over here. And just for the sake of an example, let's say the first sitting value was over here. So let's say that this was a zero. So we have zero, 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 and then we have a one over here. So now in this case, what's going to happen is that our temporary value would actually be four. Now the distance that we're going to be having here is also going to be four. Because let's say Alex is going to sit here, so Alex is over here. So in that case, the person closest to him is only going to be on the right because there's no one to the left of him in this case. So now the next person is one, two, three, four spots away. So in this case, the distance is also going to be four. So that's only for the first iteration. And hopefully what I said does make sense for the first iteration. So let's just go back to our original example. And in this case, again, the distance is not is going to have a value of zero because uh, there's nothing to the left of the index zero. All right, so now we go on and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our list over here. We're gonna go through each of the seats until we reach a seat which is already taken. So in this case we have, uh, so we, we went through this, 
Now we're going to go here. The seat is not taken, not taken, not taken again. And finally over here, the seat is taken. So in this case, what we're going to do is we know that there is a seat taken. And since this is not the first iteration, the thing that we're going to do is we're first going to look at where the last seat before this was taken. So the last seat before this was taken at the index zero. So knowing that we know that every seat between this value, so the last temporary value, which is zero, and the current value we're on, which is four, is not taken. So all those seats in between have a value of zero, and that's exactly what we can see. So now our goal here is to find out if Alex ends up sitting in one of those places, what is the best uh, distance that we're gonna get? So what is the farthest he can sit away from people? And like we discussed earlier, it is best for Alex to sit exactly in between. And the reason for that is if Alex sits over here, he's gonna be really far away from this one over here, but he's gonna be right next to this value over here. Similarly, for this over here, he would be close to whatever is at the zeroth index, but far for whatever is at the fourth index. So keeping that in mind, we need to find out the best value Alex can sit at. And again, that's the middle. So to do that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the current index, which is four, we're gonna subtract that with the last time we saw a seed taken up, which in this case is at the zeroth index, and we're gonna divide that by two. So in this case, that's gonna give us a value of two, and that is going to be our new distance. But it's not always gonna be our new distance, and in order to find out whether this is the new distance or not, we're gonna choose the maximum between these two values. So we're gonna choose the maximum between zero and two, and the reason we're choosing maximum is because we wanna optimize and we want the farthest distance possible. So that's, and in this case, two is bigger, so our new distance now has a value of two. Simultaneously, our temporary variable is now going to change to this value, which is four. So now we keep going, and over here we have a one again. So this means there is another seat which is being taken up over here. So in this case, when another seat is being taken up, well, we're going to do the same thing. So we want to find out the new distance, which is five minus four, since four is the last time we saw a seat taken up, and we're going to divide that by two. And that actually gives us one divided by two, which is actually 0 0.5, but we're gonna round it down to zero, okay? So this basically is gonna give us a value of zero. So now we're gonna compare zero with two, and obviously two is greater. So there's no answer to be found there. Then finally, we go over here at seven, because six does not have a C taken up, and same step. So seven minus five divided by two is equal to two divided by two, which equals to one. So if Alex sits over here, he would be one seat away from the next person. And again, two is greater than one. So our answer is still gonna be two. So now when we reach the very ending, we're gonna uh, return whatever our distance is. So in this case, that's going to be the number two. But there's one small thing that we're missing, which could possibly be an answer. So in the very beginning, I showed you a condition where the beginning value over here was not one, it was zero. And in that case, what happened is we considered a person sitting at the leftmost value. Simultaneously, we want to consider if Alex could sit on the rightmost value. So just for the sake of explaining, let's remove this over here and let's change that value to be zero. So in this case, what could happen is Alex could possibly sit over here. And just for the sake of this question, I'm going to change this to zero as well, okay? Uh, yeah, so in this case, let's say, so we go through everything and now what's going to happen is we're going to check if what happens if Alex sits at the very ending. So if Alex sat at the seventh position, so at the index seven. So one thing you wanna realize is there's nothing nothing to the right of it. Only things that we need to consider is for the numbers on the left of it. So in this case, we wanna consider this, this, and this, and so on and so forth until we reach the next one. So in this case, the temporary value over here would actually be four, right? So as we can see, we have four over here, and that's gonna be the temporary value, okay? So now to find the distance, we're actually just gonna do seven minus four, and that over there is going to give us the distance. And the reason we're just directly doing seven minus four is because we don't need to consider for everything, anything on the right. So in this case, we're assuming we're placing it at the rightmost value. So in this case, we're now going to have a distance of seven minus four, which is three. So one, two, and three, and that makes sense. So in this case, we have a value of three. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare three with two. And in this case, three is greater. So three is going to be our new distance. And this is what we're going to end up outputting. And just for the purpose of the code, so when we go into code part, it's not confusing. Uh, one way that we can get the seven, a simple way, in, uh, in fact, a simple way would just be to find the length of this. So in this case, the length is eight, and we're gonna subtract one from that. So that is going to give us the very last index. So eight minus one, 
gives us the number seven. Okay, so now let's see how the code looks like. This should be pretty simple once you understand the concept. All right, so over here, we're gonna start off by defining our variables. And like we had earlier, we had a temporary variable which holds the previous taken seat. So to refer to that, I'll just call it as the previous seat, okay? So the previous uh, taken seat is going to start off at none, okay? And the reason that we're gonna start it off at none is because we want to have some sort of way to identify that we're currently at our first iteration. And that's really important because the way we uh, calculate the distance is pretty different when we are at the first iteration. And the second variable that we uh, need to define is going to be the distance that we have. So the distance that we have is gonna start off at negative infinity. And the reason it's going to be negative infinity is because each time we're gonna be trying to maximize our distance. So the, if there is a distance greater than this, then in that case, it's obviously gonna get swapped out. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to iterate through each of our values. So to do that, let's just do for index in range, and we're gonna be going through the length of seats, okay? So now that we have this, we're gonna check if a seat, if a current index that we're on is actually equal to one. Uh, so to do that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to seats, we're gonna go to the current index, which is index, and we're gonna check if that is equal to one. And if that's not equal to one, so if the seat is empty, then in that case, we're just gonna uh, ignore it and not actually pay attention to it, all right? So now that we're inside of our if statement, we know for a fact that the current seat that we're on is taken, okay? So now that we know this, we have one of two conditions. We wanna find out our distance. And in order to find the distance, we might actually be at the first value that we found. So if the current, if this is the first taken seat that we found, we're gonna assume that the person is sitting at the leftmost value. And now we wanna ca uh, calculate the distance according to that. So how do we know if we're currently on the very first uh, seat that we found? So to do that, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna go to our previous seat and we're gonna check if that is equal to none. And if it is equal to none, that means we're at the first iteration. So now in this case, what we're gonna do is the result, or our distance in this case, is directly going to be equal to whatever index we're currently on, all right? So that's if the we're at the first iteration. And if that is not the case, then in that case, we wanna uh, define our distance. So this means that we've come across it more than one time. So this is at least the second time that we came across a taken seat. So in this case, the distance is going to be the maximum between the previous distance. So uh, the previous distance is stored in disk. And now we wanna calculate the new distance that we've had. And in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our current index and we're gonna subtract that by the previous taken seat. So prev underscore seat. So this is the previous, the index of where we found the previous seat. And over here, we're gonna divide this by two. But actually, we're actually going to end up doing a uh, integer division. And the reason that we're going to be doing integer division is because we actually want an integer value. So if we actually end up getting 1.5 as a distance, that's going to round it down to one. All right, so we have that over there. And now let's uh, all we need to do is we need to change what our previous seat is. So uh, in either conditions, whether uh, it's our first iteration or if we go for inside of this else loop, in both of those cases, our previous seat is now going to be the current index that we're on. Again, remember that the previous seat holds the value of the last uh, taken seat which was found. All right, so that should be it for that. And now outside of our for loop, we wanna actually check for the condition if what if the person is sitting on the rightmost uh, possible seat. So in order to do that, we're gonna redefine our distance. And over here, again, we're gonna take the maximum between the old value. And again, remember, we're getting the maximum from over here. Uh, and now we're gonna compare that to what if the person sat at the very ending. So now we wanna get what is the last index. And to get the last possible index, uh, we're gonna do the length of seats and we're gonna subtract it by one. So this gives us the last index. And now we're gonna subtract that by the previous seat that we found. So neg minus previous underscore seat, okay? And now we have our distance value, whatever it is. And all we need to do is we wanna return distance. So let's submit this. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching this. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.